A stabbing now leading to possible legislative action. NTV's Jay Shatara spoke with the Stanton County Sheriff, who's frustrated by what he couldn't do and is now calling for action. It was about a month ago when the 12-year-old girl was accused of stabbing another 12-year-old, sending the victim to the hospital, but the accused could not be detained because Nebraska statutes say she is too young. Now the sheriff of Stanton County is looking for answers. There's nothing says we couldn't arrest her, we just couldn't physically detain her in a detention setting. Stanton County Sheriff Mike Unger says his priority is to serve and protect his community. He was told he could not legally detain a minor who was accused of stabbing someone five times, but Unger believes this should be on a case-by-case -case basis. Not all 12-year-olds are the same, uh, just like not all 14, 16, 18-year-olds are the same. But I do know she knew that she was committing, one, a crime, and two, she knew what she was doing was wrong. Senator for District 19 Mike Flood is now taking action after this incident. On March 22nd, his name was added to LB 537, first introduced by Senator Suzanne Geist. In the bill's statement of intent, it says that it is designed to, quote, better balance the needs of community safety and juvenile rehabilitation efforts. It would also make it possible to detain high-risk juvenile offenders for 24 hours for a juvenile court judge to determine if the high-risk offender should not be detained. Nobody wants to be even having these conversations. Conversations. Nobody likes the idea in the legislature of locking up children. There are situations where children commit crimes that uh, may or may not be considered a crime by the juvenile court, uh, but certainly they're acting out and they're threatening the physical safety of others. But District 7 Senator Tony Vargas says it might not be the right move to lock up juveniles. He is all for them having a better support system mentally and physically. Data continues to show and support that juveniles that are in detention have worse outcomes and are more likely to end up in the long-term criminal justice system. And so as a result, um, we also know that it also impacts their mental um, mental health, behavioral health, long-term health. As Senator Vargas continues to fight for what he calls juvenile detention reform in our state. So alternatives to juvenile detention exist in our system, but um, not nearly at the level we need it. Um, and I think it's actually increased since the passage of uh, my law from a couple of years ago. More juvenile detention alternatives have been in place. And as a result, we've actually seen less of, uh, of the use of detention. We've seen detention numbers continue to decrease, which has made us another leader in the country for this. Both Senator Flood and Sheriff Unger say they'll hope that the law can be amended. If you have a situation where a 12-year-old is uh, brutally stabbing a victim, that is something that needs to be addressed. You know, I'm not a guidance counselor. I, I don't have a degree in, in psychology. I can only tell you that sometimes that there has to be some correctional activities taken. And I don't care what he said is. LB 537 has not been voted on just yet. The last action taken was adding Senator Flood's name to it. Back to you on the desk. Thanks, Jay.